Detroit police are adding another take-home patrol car program to increase visibility in neighborhoods. Last May, they rolled out their first of 20 take-home cars they're planning to refurbish to combat crime. Joining us is Detroit Police Commissioner Todd Bettison to tell us more about the program, how it's working out. So first of all, how is it working out, what you've done so far? Well, it's working out great. Um, we started the program, like you said, last May, and um, our neighborhood police officer, Baron Coleman, was the first officer to get that take-home car that we refurbished, and um, we got a report from him, and he states that his neighbors love it, he loves it, and his um, other neighborhood police officers can't wait to get their car. Talk about why there's a need for this program, do you believe? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, first of all, it increases visibility in the neighborhood. Um, you have an extra patrol car, and the officers can take that car home, and the neighbors love it. Um, the feedback is it helps deter crime, prevent crime, and it, it, it also adds to that sense of well-being. Uh, who doesn't want a police officer to live next door to them? So. Now, in this current environment, do you ever worry about the fact that this also identifies the home of a police officer and also a police officer's family? I mean, things right now are a little tense in some parts of the country. Yeah, we, we did have concerns, and, and we expressed it to the officers. They expressed concerns to us, but the feedback that we got, um, our concerns really were not warranted. Um, the officer states that... Um, his wife was initially against it, but now she likes it, he likes it, and they haven't had any incidents. Nobody's touched the car. Matter of fact, the neighbors actually, you know, pull straws to see who, who house the officer will park the car in front of ah, in the is, neighborhood. Is that what they yeah. do? Do they go to different homes so he doesn't just keep it in his driveway? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He told me that today. He'll park oh. it, you know, in, in various areas within the neighborhood. Wasn't aware of that. Talk about where this initiative came from, too. Was it because I know other cities do it? Did the idea come from those other cities? Yeah, you, Chief Craig, um, you know, with him having experience across the country, um, he was in D.C. and he saw a police officer um, car parked in front of a house and he was wondering what was going on. So he talked to the officer and the officer told him about the program. So Chief Craig said, hey, you know what, I want to do that in Detroit and I want to take cars that we would normally auction off and um, work with the business community. And, and, and we did that. Mr. Hussein from Metro Tech. Um, volunteered and did the work for free for us and refurbished that car and it looks great. So, so far it seems like uh, you're happy with the program and it's working. So where do you see this program going? Do you plan to expand it and also does this become a benefit for officers as part of the job benefit they get a car? Yeah, absolutely. We have um, 20 officers that um, are part of the program that want cars, and we plan on putting 20 more of those vehicles um, in, in the neighborhoods. And it's going to increase visibility um, in those neighborhoods with police. Are there plans past those 20 cars? Well, right now we're looking at that 20, and we do want to expand it further, So, and we will continue to go on as long as we have a demand and the officers continue to want this program, um, then we will continue on with it. Wonderful. Commander Todd Bettison, we appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks so much. Thank Nobody you. Ever, nobody Thank will ever you. ask where the cop is when you need them. They're parked right there, right so you there. can see them. Exactly. All right, thanks. Oh, and he has, he has assisted neighbors. Yep. Yep, well, I imagine good. they have. All right, yeah. thank you, sir. Thank you.